Hey, 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 back to that watch just, you. Crew of the Normans here. We will Chris, three. Marquetta, Pat, Pat, Surich. We're going to be watching a little bit of you. <gasps> maybe. That's the name of the episode. <laughs> yeah, maybe Here's the thing about you. Watch, it's weird. You are weird. You are a creeper. Yeah, yeah. Creeper. You are possibly, oh, definitely a murderer. Possibly, I guess it's a rapist worse than a murderer. Not really. But in a way, kind of. I don't trust him, is what I'm saying. Because he's weird. Hello, our editor, Dustin, yeah. thought of a funny skit. Oh. Yeah. We could do, like, Naruto fans in the in the same vein as, as I've already forgot his name. Joe. I have Joe. 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 And, Joe. Like, had, having voiceovers and stuff, just, like, creeping in. It's like, I know you like it, Chris. I know you want to watch five episodes of <laughs> it just doesn't know it. And if we can get them to copyright strike the channel down, then they'll have to watch five I know what keeps getting in the way. Life. You didn't have a life. And then put us exactly. all in cages watching fucking Naruto. So last time he killed the guy that was in the basement. Yes. He did. The guy had a. Uh, I Brandon? killed someone before. Brandon? Steven? I was going to call him Bryce. Bryce. What was that guy's name? I don't know. Is Brandon? Like Brandon? Maybe? It was, it was something <laughs> bright. Very white. I don't remember. Brad? <laughs> Brad? No, no. It was like a, like a Chad and Brad, but like... like Broseph. Bradnick or something like that. Well, she'll here, say it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, she'll yeah. say it. In and then there's Umbex. And then, uh, I already forget the girl's name. Bex! 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 Bex. Bex. Rebecca. Unbecks. Un Shut up. Unlighting <laughs> cool. I mean, you got, you got some good coffee over there. Let me get some of that. So, uh, that. all of you appreciate that we're being honest about the show. Like, we're not, like, feverishly hype about it or anything. But, I mean, we all admit, for the most part, the pacing is good. There's at least something interesting going on screen all the time. With, yeah. Like, moving the story forward. So, Pat is joining us. Yeah. He's not here the first couple. I think you've seen, The like, first four. First four. So you've seen this one and the next one. And then yeah. And he's going to be fresh. Then we play fresh. fresh. Yeah. This is not a lotion substitute. This is not a market substitute <laughs> for you. Watch it on Netflix. It's very easy to support that emotional release. Support us on Patreon if you want to get ahead a few episodes and see our full uncut reactions. Do right. help us exist as a channel. Do many fun, creative endeavors. And shout outs to you guys. You're special. And to the rest of you, like this video and you'll be just as special as those guys. Oh yeah. If you could only watch one movie for the rest of your life, what would it be? That's a go fast movie though, we're okay. gonna lie. Like, serious. Okay. Everybody knows to No, oh, that was cut. Oh. One, two, three. Yeah. It's very real. Everybody think you're forever moving before the end of the episode. Oh man, that's too hard. You can't do that to me. I want to come in, I do. But I'm gonna make us wait. You're worth waiting for. Besides. God, I hate this guy. Right yeah. now, I have something rather pressing to deal with. Yeah, buddy. Yep. Yeah. Sinister music. Ben Jesus. <laughs> ben Jesus. Muffin grab and go. Muffin grab and go. He <laughs> called it a townie yeah, pie. Yeah, townie pie. <laughs> Lord. Grab and go? Really? Townie pie? What the f- You're dead to me, Benji. Dead. Wow. And now that you've dealt with Benji, time for me to do the same. Oh Jesus my God! Christ! It's been like two days. It stinks in there for sure. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you know. Uh, fun fact is that if the kid walked there, actually, the previous How episode, he would get have to kill him too, yeah. and he would. Cause he's a piece of shit. I don't know. I don't think he would. I would not. Cause he helped the kid out, man. He get, yeah, he helped the kid to give him his last, last sandwich and he was gonna eat. He's not gonna go to jail. Yeah. He would kill him. Yeah, no, I, I would kill the For the boosties. Yeah. So there can be no dead Benji for you to mourn. Already handled the optics on social media. Portrait of a dude hard partying his way off the grid. As for the body, cremation seems expedient. Yeah, this will teeth. require chemicals. A steady blaze. And absolutely no dental records. Can you do it? Nasty. I find it weird that he's having a hard time. Because he's not a natural born killer. Hmm. I feel oh. like his previous actions have made him a killer. Hmm. Not naturally born killer, he was made to be a killer. I don't think people are born killers. I mean, this is the first time he killed the Well, no. He definitely killed that girl that is in Candace. Paris. <laughs> Becca said? What? Oh, I heard you were joining us. You know, I actually, I read one of your essays in the review last month and it was so illuminating. I mean, I tweeted it. Social media, it's like the next great genocide. 
I was born in Papua New Guinea, but my dad worked for the State Department, so I moved around a lot, so modeling in Tokyo. My hair is super unique there. <laughs> I hate her. Yeah. Oh, for my shit and her biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> is that a no? It's a dick pic, Annika. <laughs> Okay, see, look, it's just no. zoomed in. Like, no. Why is it a shag carpet? I don't know. Do you have nothing else to do? <laughs> oh my God. Like, what is your life? Yeah, exactly. I've over 200 saved on my phone organized by category. <laughs> <laughs> How do you. What's the category? I hooked up with some guy last night. Knee deep in before I realized he's uncircumcised. Ooh. Bookstore clerk has a turtleneck. Bookstore manager, but no, not Joe's. Actually, it's come to light that uncircumcised people oh. are actually healthier than circumcised people. Uh oh. I'm a maybe, and you're still screwing other guys? Why? <laughs> How did she not notice him? His head is huge. <laughs> He's clearly right there. That's a moron. He was talking shit about the other guy being a virgin before, and he's like the one acting like he's never been with a girl in his life. Does he not have like cologne or a scent or like? I don't have a tattoo. Love is patient. Oh, he's gonna be shady. He's gonna kill him too now. For you, I can be patient. Does he not have a hobby? If I want to win your heart, okay, young Jeff Goldblum over here. There's nobody. The best by brains. Oh, oh, yeah, we're getting this, man. It's time. time to get rid of Benji so I can focus my undivided attention on you. On don't you already do that? Don't you do <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joe. I have a secret project I'm working on, so I thought you could run some errands for me. I'll give you a little money for books. No problem. See, that's a nice guy. He's using the kid to help get rid of his body. He would kill this kid! No, he wouldn't. You know it! No. Not the key. Not the key. Potassium nitrate? He's supposed to try to yeah, do a little chemical burn on my boy. Thanks, Mark. This kid's gonna Everybody knows what happened. This pop. kid's gonna end up on a watch <laughs> Yeah. Wait, yeah. that's not gonna bat a few eyebrows if this kid walking around. 12 year old ass up. Yeah. Here's what I've gleaned from this little exercise in its utility bag. You're in no mood to write. <laughs> <laughs> you need a new bed. So, fix hey, it. But I have to play this perfectly. And in order to do that, I gotta break out the big gun. Bex, the only person I know that likes to stand squarely in the center <laughs> of the window for the world to see at all times. Damn, dude, my first car was a Skylark, but it was like a 90s piece of shit. God, I can't believe this is your car. Oh, you're a lifesaver. No idea how much I need a new bag. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're not gonna be, I, even if I didn't know she was, I'd be like, oh, I have to break a bed. But well, yeah, I'm like, ah. All right, we're about to break this new one. <laughs> Get one of my Kia boys so it smashes really easy. <laughs> I have one just like this. Benji told me. It was my dad's. How you like to be spanked with it? Is that what you really want, Beck? She doesn't like you because you don't talk to her when you're with her. She said it was her dad's too, so I wonder if he's lying about it. And they all look pretty good to me. No, I just mean, should I get the queen or the king's king? King. King. The bedroom isn't big enough to fit a king. Right. How would you know? How would you know that? Uh, how do you know that? Uh, in New York, everyone's got a small apartment. It's New York. No one's bedroom is big enough to fit a king. What's up, kid? How you doing? The show for. Uh, I know how to laugh. Do you think I'm unremarkable? Oh God. Unremarkable people don't worry about being unremarkable. Oh, fuck. Oh, weird answer. There it is. What a weird answer. Y'all gonna fuck here in the fucking... Why not? Free bed! Nice. It's it's gonna mess it up. It's what? Where are they? They gotta clean it up. Just how remarkable you are. You no. Know, they're, they're, they're in the fucking uh, furniture store, bro. Yeah. yeah! So? This is definitely the capture that only happens in movies. Yeah. What? I thought? What? I thought? Bush time in public. Bush Did he have that music in his head though? I mean, yeah. look, yeah. while I'm yeah. all for yeah. some yeah. random sex yeah. in weird places, yeah. we're definitely gonna get caught this, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah we're pretty. <laughs> Sounds like someone's eating pussy over there. Bottom of this thing with a shadow. Yeah. The electrician says he thinks the system is overloaded, but he can't get to the fuse box because... Yeah, it's in the basement with a dead body. He thinks he can pop the lock, but I just wanted to, you know, 
No, 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 no. Just, uh, just, just, just tell me about Trisha and go home. I'll call him later. You lock up and go home. I'll deal with it when I get back. Even in death, Benji is a colossal pain in my ass. Well, maybe if you'd have taken care of his body at some point yeah, in time, right. instead of being like, hey, I'm fucking fun with this girl around one day. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Yeah, you, you could have all that time to plan before you even poison the guy. Now, it's gonna take a while to get out. Yeah. It's supposed to be all on book pages, bro. Yeah, ruining books. With the humidifiers, especially. Oh. Is that ooze? Ooh. Uh, What's that? Uh, it's uh, biologically dire. I can't protect them until I get rid of him. Benji has to go. Uh, he's in bare hands still. Right? Also, you just put like this looks like a body! <laughs> <laughs> I, I yeah. don't know what his plan is, I just need to see how this all transpires. It's gotta be late. Hey, what are you up to? Do you happen to read Chinese? Or own a mallet? She's up at the bed. Breaking in the bed. On them late night, boys. Can't burn the body in daylight anyway, so the least Benji can do is wait in the car for a little while. <gasps> oh, it dude. stinks, bro! Not thinking Now we get those time. black ice uh, air fresheners. Yeah, because no, black ice uh, covers up the smell of it. Dead ass body. I'm sorry about earlier. I didn't mean to get so upset. I don't want you to think of me like that. Friends up. I like you, Joe. Keep kissing him in like, the mouth. Actually, like. Ugh. Man, he's gonna keep doing what he's doing then. End of. Don't think. Just answer. What hits you like a gut punch when you the first thought? My dad. Like I always knew it was gonna be one of those. When I woke up to the smell of pancakes cooking, he used this red ladle to scoop up the batter. Oh. And everything would be right. But then he'd, he'd go out and the ladle would go back in the drawer. And I'd wait for the next good day. Benji was wrong about all of it. His whole red ladle story. You don't want to be stressed. He might still want to be stressed. You, you, know, you want someone to make pancakes for you. <laughs> I think I need you to take me to the emergency room. Oh, Joseph. Joseph! <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I have a rare chronic bladder disease called interstitial cystitis. Ugh. I can't have any fast food. And if I drink, it has to be a high pH. Kettle one or goose and <laughs> pear juice. Weren't you doing Jaeger shots at your party? Oh, oh <laughs> That's what it was. Joe has a car. He can take this. Right? Oh! Ooh. My car is broken. Oh. Engine motor. How did they not smell it? Seriously. Right? It would be stinky on the storm right now. It should be like I ran over a puppy possum. Yeah, possum climbed in the engine and died. Joseph. How does it smell like shit? nauseated. Can you crack a window? There's like a sort of putrid aroma that is wafting in the back seat. What can I say? It smells of the city. I can't deal. I can't deal. We'll walk. He's like, thank you for getting out of the car, actually. Well, this is a development. That's it. Oh. oh. You send this kid out to buy weird things, pharmaceuticals and such? Potassium nitrate, six rolls of duct tape, <laughs> fire starter, twine, burlap. <laughs> you want to explain what all this is for? <laughs> explain the shopping list straight out of body disposal for dummies. Literally, I thought that. I know how this all must look. I know involving Paco is something to do. It would, it would just be easier if I showed you. Yeah, I'll show you. Huh. Technically, we're not allowed to plant anything in here. I was just trying to keep it a bit under wraps. And the chemicals? They dissolve roots. Fire starter? I like to grill. Whose yard is this? There you go. There's no way to grill his, right? Thank you. Yeah, it's all the time he's got. Time he's got. Yeah, like, he's Excuse always following the girls around. What is he doing? He's a buddy? I told him, I'm a parole officer, okay? We see guys like this all the time. He is a sicko. I feel it in my gut. He is right. Mm. He's very right. Go back inside. He may be an asshole, but he's right. Stay mom. I just noticed how hungry Paco is all the time. Mm. You know, I, I gave him a few dollars to go to the store, honestly, so he could buy himself a sandwich. I lend him books from time to time, too. That's all. Just seems a little neglected. Oh! I'm not saying they're unfit. A lot of people drink. That's it. I thought. Oh. <laughs> Hilarious. You have been manipulated, idiot. Yeah, you have been had. Thank you, officer. But for real, how did you get time for this garden mm -hmm. between all the stopping? Mm -hmm. People believe whatever supports their worldview. You believed you deserved Benji and his neglect, and you believe you deserve Peach and her drum, and on and on. 
Peaches are fucking Fred, bro. He's kind of a pretentious hipster himself. He's so good. His fucking books and I hate his generation. These things would have been nicer in the 50s when he could have just got away with this shit easily. <laughs> so, what do you think about Joe? Oh, I fucking hate him. Yeah, you know, I like him. I think I might really like him. Okay, you can't be serious. I mean, the guy who works at a bookstore. You need someone to take care of you, not someone like Joe and his financial limitations. That's oh, wow, she's the worst. She's not the worst, but she's making sense. No, but like if she's trying to be a writer, you need somebody to be able to support you so you can write. We'll talk about it in hmm. school. Joe can support her. I mean, he's not like rich as fuck. He has a nice ass car though. Yeah, he, he can support her, I'd still feel. And he damn owns the store. Dude's a businessman. Also, it's 2020. They support each other. Shit. If she builds her confidence oh. and writes about oh, what she I knows, know. it'll come easier and she'll be able to get okay. sold faster. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. She's she's the the Thanks for the ride. The doctor said it was good that we came and we did. Why don't you meet me back at my place? Maybe we can pick up where we left. Write your fucking oh, short story. Oh my god. Yeah, there you go. yeah, yeah let's do tomorrow. <laughs> what are you doing? Do you really, really want, want to be a writer? God, whoa! 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 I meant about you coming over. I wish I could. I, mean, I wish I could, but I'm just really busy right now. So, in fact, I should go. Swing your calls when you're trying to burn a body. It just turns out things slip out you that you didn't actually want to say. Of course, but you know, you're sending some mixed messages, right? What is uh, that? Hey, the phone? I, I'm trying to do what you want, but I, I can't tell what that is. Like, build you a bed with you on the bed, drop you on the block. Wow, uh, you're, you're an idiot. idiot. You could have hung up so long ago. Right, sure. and be like, yeah, I lost service. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? In the middle of the woods. Yeah. You know, you're, you're welcome to join if you like. But we need to get back to the car before it gets any darker. <laughs> Smart move. Yeah. Yeah, have a good one. You too. They're like, yeah. Why the fuck is he even at in New York that he's like in the woods? Central like, Park. Upstate. You don't start a bonfire no, like this in Central Park. No, he's not in Central Park. Central Park. Come on. <laughs> I'm sure he's this up, is Central Park. No, oh, it's Dutch. Nah, that's the only wood area they got in New York. I mean, I'm saying he's like probably in Jersey or something. He had to go somewhere. Or just upstate New York. Yeah. I've been calling you back straight to voicemail. Worst three words in the English language. I wonder what our kids would have been like. What? As he teaches them. What? It wasn't supposed to end like this. Call me back. Yeah. Call me maybe. Your writing makes me think that Raven Carver has been reincarnated. That is so kind of you to say, Tomas. I was born Thomas. in 88, the year he died, so weirdly enough, you're not the first person to have seen him. Again, great work, Mike. Excited to see what's next. Teacher, don't let her say that. Yeah, yeah your writing you sucks. Your, your attitude sucks. I hope Joe kills her next. <laughs> sorry, I know it's just... Not Peach? It's only one page, but um, that isn't really enough for us to critique. Are we supposed to read it now? In front of you? It's kind of awkward. If that's the case, I should warn you, I have this facial autism thing where I can't hide what I'm thinking. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god! I kind of love her now. <laughs> Fuck no. The shade she puts out is I wanna enormous. I shoot her out of a cannon too. I, I want to be her. Oh my God. <laughs> if that's the case, I have to warn you. I, 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 Are you gonna say Tomas? I cannot be around her, so I'd rather be her. <laughs> In case I need another her, I can fight back. <laughs> Honestly, I'd use anything as an excuse not to write because, okay, I'm afraid I might fail. I'm one terrible page away from confirming I'm the worst writer in history. All of that to say, if I'm sending mixed messages, it's because I don't know who I am. So how am I supposed to know what I want? In this moment, you are everything. If you know who you are, it's not like you share it. I mean, you're a nice guy with the, you are remarkable stuff. Are you sure about that? Guy. Then you try to go down me in the middle of a furniture store. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were hiding something. Oh. Why are you holding it? I've never even seen your place. Have and we? you never talk about any of your friends. I don't think we Who are you? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't expect <laughs> that. Um, sound better in my head. I want to show you. Nah, you right. I'm fine. He's, yeah. sent, he's the one sending mixed messages. Man. Yeah. Well, you definitely. Have also, a person that doesn't talk about their friends is a person that you don't fuck with. Mm -hmm. You want real shit? Yeah. Come downstairs. I don't talk about my friends. 
But like, you have to know that you have friends. I don't think he has any friends. You don't have to talk about your friends because I see them every day. Come to my dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna smell good. Like, Maybe no he got the smell up. Yeah. He's, he's got money. He has hidden money from all bo- Mr. Mooney, for sure. Yeah. How many days has this been? That's why. I bet you they're going to bang right there on the floor where his dead body was. Mm-hmm. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. But, like, this isn't a personality, dude. I can take you to my apartment. I do, this kind of. Anytime you want. I want you to meet my friends. I do. But this. What friends? These are my friends. Paco. This right here is the most important place in the world to me. These books are more alive, more worthy than most people I know. You want to know who I am, this is it. You know, if he wasn't a creepy dude, these lines he's speaking, you guys would be like, you know, be melting yes. over them. You guys would be melting over these oh, lines. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. You guys, just, you, guys, you guys, you know he was creepy, you'd be melting over these lines. Speak for yourself, Pat! You'd yeah. be melting, girl, the, come on. The, the books melting. are someone else's words. He's not living his own life. <clears throat> yeah. No, I'm talking about yeah. these lines that he's speaking spe- spe- all. I know, yeah. but, that, but what he's saying with his lines Maybe are if I was fucking 22. She's 22. There you are. Is she? Okay. She's still in college. Actually, um, Joe is good for me. I really need Bex. Rude. Right? I'm just saying. And I mean this, honestly. Maybe a simple life isn't so bad. Maybe I should be looking for that. Joe isn't simple. He's he's different. That's funny. There's a dog when saying it. How the fuck did you notice this? You know? She actually is privy to her library. Joe's always looking at it. At my party. I'm sure it'll turn up. Yeah, after he brings it back. He gave it to the kid, didn't he? Yeah. I'm with Chris. How the fuck did she just... She just loves those knew. books, clearly. I mean, it's like a series, so if yeah. one's missing, I can see, like... She'd be, she be living there for how many days now? You just now know that? <laughs> but she remember him looking at it. One of my Harry Potter books was missing, I'd be like, wait a minute. Yeah, but you would've noticed it, right? Like, if you walk by that, you know, every day. They were talking about him. He was looking at it. I was like, we're bogeys. We just need to stay one step ahead. Like the musketeers. One for all? No one for one. Who that on the stairs, bruh? Paco! Uh oh. Get inside. You're about getting asked what the boy is. He's about to throw a punch, punch now. Yep. Yeah. Leave the kid alone. You have the cops fool your bullshit to Mango Garden. <laughs> <laughs> There's something wrong with you. He looks like an older Chris Pines. He <laughs> does. I see it in your hands. <laughs> Find that away under future problems. Tonight I show you. I'm the one. Where's the- Oh, you already burned the body. Right. He brought pancakes. Oh. She sent you a titty picture before this. You brought pancakes. <laughs> he stopped by the grocery store. I mean, you know, after sex pancakes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. He's going to be low on carbs. Wouldn't it be hilarious if this dick game was just weak? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you on the one. Five minutes later, she just rolls over. Two and a half pump chunk. Text no, me. No, the worst kind, like one of the two-hour things where she's just like... <laughs> Is it better for just like eight, 18 seconds of awesome than like. I'll be saying two hour hours of mediocrity. Oh, look at him contorting. Yep. Oh, oh he oh, popped. Oh, oh, yeah. You guys caught me. Well, well, well. That's why he brought the pancake. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's why he brought the pancake. Credit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, Joe! All that the is murder, a straight maybe. All of the oh. fucking creeping and stalking for Joe's two pumps, you chump. Straight yeah, maybe. <laughs> he, was like, <laughs> he was just jerking off in the bushes a bit ago, like you didn't fucking <laughs> whack one out before you got here, dog. Like this was your plan. He never practiced it. Does that work? I mean, you give you a little bit of a buffer, yeah. right? <laughs> you know. It gives you a buffer. Here. Whoa. That sucks for all that planning. Like he, you know, you know that, that's what happens. You don't, you don't have the essential experience or skills or any friends for that matter to have told you like, hey, you know, be ready. Play mm-hmm. any game. My man wrote a try. He was just going all fucking, <laughs> fucking <laughs> a thesis on how to stalk a woman and kill her ex boyfriend <laughs> just to show up and be like, uh, oh. <laughs> Like all of this work, like, really? <laughs> work on work on work, hours and, and hours. people were into this guy. Like when the show was like, what are you doing? I guess it's wow. kind of funny. They're like, oh, he's he's acting. Oh yeah, he just uh, you know he couldn't. Oh man. Oh, man. Oh, man.
I oh. suck at sex, but not that much. <laughs> Shit. <gasps> and my sexual performances are average. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, so, look. I understand what Peaches is saying in the back with the whole, like, you want to be taken care of so you can write, but, like, fucking every starving artist out here is a starving artist. Like, every single dope rap album was put through out of living in the fucking worst places ever. Yeah, but you also work in, so, like, when you work, you can't really write. You, she, you know, she has to write about what's I mean, you have to write about what's, what you know, yeah. so it comes to I'm you saying, easier. Yeah, like, that fucking, like, grind, that shit that sucks ass, that's what I think. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it doesn't build everybody into a great writer. Like, I'm sure there's plenty of people who came out of it without it, but what I'm saying, like, for her specifically, like, She's already got the fucking thing about her, uh, the old dude who wanted a blowjob from her to write oh. about. Like, she's got all these, like, strikes in her life and her dad when he was like, what's the biggest gut punch? Write about all that. While this girl over here, she's got, like, a nice life, I guess, because she's like, you know, I live in Barcelona once. And she can write about a bird flying in and, like, hair is very unique. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, make it really beautiful. But maybe Beck needs a little bit of that fucking strife to, like, you know, put pen to pad. You know, I feel like if your name is Blythe, you have to be that kind of person. <laughs> Blythe. 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 I feel like there's another Blythe I know. Oh, no, I know Blythe was pretty dope. Shout outs to you if you're watching. I don't know if you're watching. <laughs> no, on TV. But I yeah, no. Uh, man, this is. Um... <gasps> I, 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 oh, House of Cards. He doesn't need to be super rich. I mean, but he's like well off enough. He's yeah. just not. Obviously, like dank not in a mansion or anything, but I guess Pete just comes from a different lifestyle. So that's oh. where. Uh, that She's was a salinger. Kind of, so Joe's kind of right. Beck doesn't really want to be friends with these types of people. Like, she wants that life, but she also wants to be, like, the struggling writer artist. So, uh, uh, it's not congruent. She doesn't She doesn't know who she is, man. Who am I? I mean, yeah, you know, especially in a city like New York, I do really feel like finding your own identity is probably pretty tough. It's different when uh, you're out in the old Midwest where, you know, fucking salt of the earth out here. You figure that show pretty early, but really? just in a... I think so. Like, by the time you're, like, mid-20s, most people... I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, people, no. I feel Some like people it would be work. easier in like a big city. Yeah. Really? really? There's just so much going on. So much to do. I feel like, yeah, you, you get yeah, like, so You're you going to have like a whole entire brief life as like a skater boy and like no one would know. But like if you are like in a smaller town, people are like, weren't you a skater for five years? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you could just so like be someone different all the time. That's good, right? Mm-hmm. More experiences? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. the more you experience, the more you like find out what you like and what you don't like. Cause, but if you have limited options, then I feel it's different. I guess depending on the person, if they're if they're curious, yeah. knowledge seeker or like thrill seeker, or they want to go out and do things, or if they're more recluse. I feel like if I lived in New York, I would just struggle because it'd be there's so many like distractions and just so much to like do. Do you know what I mean? Like you could just not that I mean I want that obviously. Yeah, we get bored as fuck around here, but just like I don't know. Like if you're always on something and doing something, like five years goes by and you look back and you're like, man, did a lot of fun things, but like. Who the fuck am I? Like, as a person. Oh, that uh, can happen. Maybe. That can definitely happen. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. You can do that. Same thing here, too. There's mm-hmm. plenty of fishing spots around. I reneged my statement. <laughs> Worst way to get rid of a dead body ever. Just open bonfire in the middle of the woods. Right. <laughs> it was a smart call to be like, yeah, come on, though. You yeah. Know, if they had came over there, oh, man. All the quick like, decisions. What is that that you use to start this fire? And why is it not red? red? <laughs> dead guy. God, no, I wanted to make the I wanted to make the joke that uh, Family Guy made when Peter and them were doing death, and he's like, usually when someone dies, they defecate or like he's like, yeah, their bowels, their bowels. Well. yeah, oh yeah, they, they evacuate their bowels. <laughs> so you know he probably did that. He didn't have much in him, but he must have probably shit himself. Oh yeah, uh, a little bit of that coffee came out at least. <laughs> Man, I do Does anyone know what that is? The ooze. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck no, I went, well, hung around a dead body long enough to watch it ooze. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it looked like pus. Yeah. Um, uh, maybe it's uh, your, when your blood gets uncoagulated, the plasma comes out. Kind of like plasma a little bit. I was just shocked that like, when they were in the backseat, I'm glad she mentioned that it smelled, but it would have been like reeking. I he like. didn't, like, he was just like a cloth. He didn't like cover him in plastic first, or yeah. we didn't yeah. see that. So like, Serena. how? How yeah. is it not rank? Yeah. Like in the whole block. <sighs> you just parked in the block <laughs> on a summer for day. Hours. If you have a body to get rid of, that is your priority. <laughs> you do not do other things that day. You don't have phone calls that day. If you need an alibi, cool. Cook up an alibi, but like by no means be like, oh yeah, I'll run you guys on an errand. Like just my anxiety would be through the roof. I'm like, yeah, they're gonna be like, it smells like a body in here with the fucking <laughs> drunk. Plus, it is New York. We're like 
Be like, what the fuck's in the truck, bro? Is yeah. that a body back there? You know what I mean? Like, it's a city of eight million. There's gotta be a handful of psycho murderers around. So like, <laughs> like man, pop the trunk, or I'm never talking to you again. Yeah, those uh, those cops pop also. Trunk, right. Just, I feel you. like that got brushed off really easily. I mean, cool. Yeah, that tomato garden or whatever. But it's like the wooden spikes, the the lighter grill. Okay, looks like our work is done here. Like, uh, they just like checked off everything. Like all these. Body, what are these right. like getting rid of a body 101? Like, uh, burlap sack, like, well, what about the burlap sack? And she's like, I like to make pants. Out of <laughs> well, we were gonna have a, a, a burlap sack race later on after uh, we yeah. garden. <laughs> and the duct tape does what for the tomatoes? I did appreciate seeing him take actually, the because like up until now, he's been holding his composure, even when all the shit's thrown out of him, like cops and you know, needing to ride around in a dead body car. He was like, Flustered while he was getting while he was talking to her on the phone. I think oh, it was yeah. the first time like we've seen him flustered like that. Yeah. He kind of got a little cocky. Where he's like, oh, I can answer the phone. Yeah, I just yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, no, you good enough. Uh, I it, I it's ridiculous. Um, I do definitely think he would kill Paco. Kids, he's not going. No, to he would not kill the kid. If Paco saw the body, what he say? Hey, uh, Paco, I know I mean, you saw this no, body, no, really and I know your dad's a parole officer. But don't tell anybody. It's just between me and you. Or do you think he'd be like... Well, he'd be telling Paco he didn't kill him. He'd leave town. Not gonna Paco well, him. actually, killing Paco... I mean, I, I 100% don't think he'd just let him roll. But also, killing Paco, he's suspect number one. It's not even a question. Like, yeah, Paco is missing. So, but fuck no. Why would he... Uh, like, okay. He still may be able to convince Bex to follow him if he it runs away after killing Paco. But if he goes to prison, she won't wait for him. No, no, she ain't. Especially for child murder. Who do you think he's going to kill next? The dad, Peaches, or Blythe? Um, Blythe is untouchable. I, as much as I want her to get got, she's not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. she's a, Blythe is a, a bad bitch. She's a TV writer's fucking goal right there. She's, <laughs> she's like, awesome. how pretentious can we make she this? She is girl? awesome. <laughs> that, yeah. I have this autism thing where my face <laughs> just... Every other word out of her mouth is something <laughs> ultra ridiculous. I can't hold back my disgust. Like, they just uh, love writing her. Like, <laughs> what's the most pretentious thing we can, like, say and or do? Like, she had that rehearse immediately when she was like, what about we? Where are you from? She, like, immediately starts putting uh, on. It's like, well, I had some question to ask. I was in Japan. Yep. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Yeah. And like Bex was really right when she went off on him, and she was like, "Yeah, I don't know shit about you. Like, you don't talk about your friends. You don't talk about anything." Mm-hmm. And then he brings her downstairs, and he's like, "Look at all my books. This is my hobby. This is my collection." And I'm like, yeah, man, I still feel like you know. I was she, he acts like he's all high and mighty, but he definitely tried to fucking muff dive her ass like at the IKEA in the back. <laughs> yeah. Which yeah. you know, if y'all in a long enough relationship, that you've established that fucking in the IKEA is what's to do. And him, wink, wink, nah, nah. <laughs> That's why our bed lifts up. When we first found it, we um, just closed it down and got up under right. it. Get it. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. Why? Mm. I was hoping that when he took her to the basement, there would be some, like, I don't know, like a ring. Mm, or like yeah. some leftover from Benji. That would be the end of the episode, though. Yeah. I mean, the end of the season. Like, there, if you found your ex-boyfriend's ring and you're, like... Even if you didn't suspect murder, it'd be like, oh, so you guys are like buddy buddy, like you know what he's out here doing, like you just and you brought him down here to the basement. You know. I don't know, but like he left, that, he left him there several times, uh, like by himself for so days. He, yeah. he could have planted stuff around. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That'd That'd be be. It. And it would have smelled. It still would have smelled. Oh yeah. Yes, it would still I, smell. I, I thought they were gonna hit the mats right there, and it's gonna be like. Oh, Pus stain. Right yeah, just like, <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I wanted to be special. She put on the nice underwear. You know, when a lady, when a lady's got matching underwear, you know what that means. What does it mean? It means she planned it. <laughs> it means you're supposed to see this. It's like, I did all this on purpose. <laughs> well, she sent him a selfie too. I yeah. don't know why he was surprised. <laughs> with the fucking right. pancake butter in his like, hand. Hey, like, you uh, trying to make some breakfast? And she's like, all on a sausage right now. <laughs> <laughs> At night time. <laughs> I need to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to set up for the next one. See you. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye. Peace. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching You with the Normies. Check us out on Patreon for early access and uncut content. Special shout out to Aaron, Austin, Desiree, Eleanor, Exploring Dylan, I Eat Pink Tacos, Joe, Liam, Michael Henry, Michael Maglalog, Nick, Nuptup, Puffy, Quentin, Ruby Tiger, Bystander, Tristan, Jay Sobel, Kelly, Keyboard Junkie, The NYR Fan, and ZJP, and we'll see you all next time.